All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Friday evening. Uh, it's a little after five o'clock. I got to get supper started. So this is what's for dinner on this Friday evening. It's a food pantry meal. Uh, we received this chicken in our food pantry. And so we're going to be making, um, I'm just going to bake this chicken, uh, not cover it. Uh, Glenn likes the skin crispy. So I'm just going to, I've already seasoned the bottom. I'm just going to season it with seasoned salt and some black pepper. Some onion powder. And Glenn likes crushed red peppers also. So two of the pieces I'm going to put this uh, crushed red pepper and this is the great value from Walmart and I just throw it on there some of it falls off but and if he wants it any hotter he'll add afterwards the uh, red cayenne pepper all right Okay, and that's basically all I'm going to do to the chicken. I'm going to throw it in the oven. I have it at 350. It'll take a couple hours. If, but because I'm going to put something else in the oven at the same time, uh, it usually takes away from baking one, uh, giving full heat power to one. So I might turn up the oven. I don't know yet. So I'll give it a try, see how it goes in about an hour or so. So I'm going to get this in the oven. I'll be right back with the next dish. All right, everyone, so I just wanted to show you this. I know uh, several people have been asking to see our pantry, and I'll show that in uh, bits and pieces. I've got one pantry done, so and it's basically our, our cupboards that our dishes would normally go in. And so I kind of switched the dishes into the actual food pantry, and I'll tell you why when I show you that. But I wanted to show you these baskets. Uh, we bought these. Um, maybe a year and a half ago for our camper trailer, our converted cargo trailer, and it ended up being in the house. <laughs> so, and I used to, you can see on some of my videos that I film here, is I used to have bread in here and chips in the other one, but I decided to make them produce baskets. So I got potatoes and onions in here. You can see that. And over here, I got oranges and apples. So I just wanted to show that part. I think it works out better for the produce. My goal is not to have too many chips in the house, so I took them out of there and not too much bread in the house at, at one time. So, all right, so I just wanted to show you that. Let's get to what I'm making. Okay, so here I have uh, carrots from the food pantry, onions from the food pantry, potatoes from the food pantry, and butter from the food pantry. And I am going to turn this into this. All right, everyone. So I turned it into this. Uh, the only thing I didn't show before was the broccoli. I just threw our broccoli in here. So I've got sliced potatoes. I got broccoli. I got carrots. I got sliced onion. Season it with seasoned salt and pepper, and I've got butter cubes all over. So basically going to make this into one big foil packet and throw it in the oven with the chicken. I may have to turn it up to get it to cook faster. So this is what it is, and that's going to be our side dish. So stay tuned when it's all done. All right, everyone, so the vegetable mix is done. This is how it looks, and it smells really good. You can really smell the broccoli in that. So I'm going to plate up, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone, here it is. Here's uh, what's for dinner on this Friday night. Um, all food pantry meal. So got the chicken, the vegetable mix, which has potatoes, onions, carrots, and broccoli. So looks and smells delicious, so we're going to eat. And... I also have a Dollar Tree haul coming up, so stay tuned. All right, everyone, so it's time for the Dollar Tree haul. So before I get to the Dollar Tree haul, i just uh, go over a couple things, okay? So um, I believe I said in my last food pantry haul that I would give her, oh, no, um, somebody had asked about the almond cookies. I said I'd give a review in the next video. 
So these were the almond cookies we received in our food pantry haul. They're gourmet almond cookies. They're real thin. And they're really, really hard. Like really crunchy. So um, the taste isn't bad at all. Uh, on my initial bite, uh, I tasted a tinge of cherry. But it doesn't say there's cherry in it. It's just crispy almond gourmet cookies. So yeah, the taste isn't bad at all. But they're extremely hard and crunchy so these are going to be good dippers so again glenn would dip these in coffee i would dip them in milk but otherwise they have a good taste besides the hard crunch but i guess that's what thin gourmet cookies are so i just wanted to follow up on that all right all right the next thing is i wanted to give a channel shout out to a really small channel which i I'm really surprised she doesn't have more subscribers. She definitely deserves it because she does a good job. Um, she does uh, budgeting. Uh, she does uh, money envelopes. She does meal planning. She sh shows her grocery hauls and how much she's able to spend and what she actually did spend. And I like the way she does her grocery hauls because, like me, if the meats are not on sale, if you're not going to get a good deal, she doesn't get it. So the channel is Small Family, Small Budget. And it's all one word, all small letters. So, again, it's Small Family, Small Budget. If you can jump over to her channel, give her some support, um, subscribe to her channel, yeah, she's got really good videos, so I think she deserves more subscribers. So again, uh, small family, small budget. And I will leave the link to her channel in the description below. So please check it out and jump on over to her channel and give her some support. Okay? All right, let's get to the Dollar, Dollar Tree haul and show you what I got. you probably already seen everything from me talking about the other stuff. All right, so... I got three more canisters and I needed, I think I needed at least two more, but I think I added a third one. So I got three more and then I got a, and this is a new bigger size suave juicy green apple conditioner. So I needed some hair conditioner and spending a dollar on conditioner is better than spending $5 on conditioner. <laughs> And I got this, uh, uh, my stuff is falling down here. That's empty. <laughs> okay, so these are like uh, ketchup and mustard uh, picnic bottles, condiment bottles. And I'm trying to, along with my the kitchen organization, I'm trying to organize a refrigerator with all the different size bottles. I have some that are short and fat, some that are tall and skinny, and it would be great if they just all fit in these type of bottles, and yeah, so they all fit the same. So I'm going to give that a try, and as you can see from the box that was falling, I already have them in the freezer, but i got some more drumsticks and toffee bars. So if you guys run across these ice cream bars in the Dollar Tree, get them. They are delicious. They are good. So the toffee bars especially are really good. So get those. I'm going to take that out of there. I got a pair of, well, three pairs of socks. And these are uh, basically like anklets or smaller than anklets. Uh, no sock, no, sh no show socks. That's what they are. So I just wanted them for around the house. I don't really like wearing socks. I don't really like wearing shoes. <laughs> so I prefer to just wear sandals with no socks. And you're not supposed to wear socks with sandals anyway. So so yeah, but again, rather spend a dollar on three pairs than ten dollars on whatever. <laughs> so and you can see I can't leave the Dollar Tree without my turtles. I got two packs of these Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. And I think you just have to add some butter and some water. Yeah. And I usually uh, just make my own chocolate chip cookies and freeze some dough. But these are just like, uh, I don't know, lazy nights, I guess. Or 
save them in our emergency stash for emergencies. All right. Got this bag of uh, hand sanitizer packs. They're little uh, towelettes. So I got that bag. And I got some freezer bags. I told you on the last one, I am out of freezer bags. So I just got some uh, gallon size and quart size. And I already op opened up the quart size. I had to use one already. Already went over the ice cream. Got some uh, fiddle faddle for Glenn. He likes a fiddle faddle. I got some toast -um pop pop ups, kind of like the pop tarts. And I got some fudge mint cookies, like the Girl Scout grasshopper cookies. Or the Thin Mints or whatever they're called. But um, we have a couple Dollar Trees here in town. I went to the south side one. I live closer to the north side one. But the north side doesn't have as much as the south side. So I got a small pack of uh, Band-Aids. And I got this uh, three pack of uh, travel bottles. I actually only needed one. But they didn't sell them just one. And what I need that for is camping. So I like soy sauce in my white rice. And if we make white rice while we're camping, I don't want to take a whole big bottle. And so I thought if I just put some soy sauce in one of these, that would be sufficient enough for me. Because Glenn doesn't use soy sauce. So that's why I got those. All right. So that is everything I got at the Dollar Tree. Oh, I did get some candy bars, but they're gone. <laughs> I'm filming this like a day and a half later. <laughs> so the other candy bars are gone. All right. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, but that's all I have for now. So I hope you enjoy your weekend. So remember to live life. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Until next time.